hi guys welcome back to my channel so yes my takes electronics so in this video today I will be showing you guys some few steps on how you can solve this problem uh, mostly in mobiles I think you you should have received some kind of phones that have this kind of problem when you plug in charger your, your charger then the phone goes off automatically so I will be showing you guys some few steps on how you can solve that so before watching make sure if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will get notified anytime that I upload a new video so first when you receive this kind of fault what do you first check normally you first try a different charger so what if you try a different charger and it does not work? It could be the, the, the battery. The battery could be the cause of the problem. And how does the battery tend to affect that if the phone is working well? The thing that can be causing the battery to switch off when you connect the charger is the, that the battery is getting weak to receive the voltage that is from the charger. Well, sometimes when the battery is getting weak it does not need some any kind of amount of voltage when you connect your charger now it sends the voltage into the battery and the battery switch off because the battery sees the voltage like overloaded it's overloaded so this is the main reason why this problem occurs when you connect charger shorting you can check here you can see some capacitors around the charging port it can be a charging port that is shortened if the pins inside are broken then are joined or it can be the capacitors around the charging port just check on these capacitors and in this video i will not be showing you how you can check the shorting but i will keep a link in the video description so that you will check on how you can check short and when you check the video now you will be able to solve the problem so if it's not the capacitors if you test after watching the other video on how to uh, troubleshoot shorting then if you check the capacitors and they are not shorting you should go for the charging ic and if you don't know how to identify a charging ic in the pcb so i will also keep you don't know how to identify a uh, ICs in the PCB. I will also keep a link in the video description on how you can identify all ICs in the mobile PCB. If you check on the capacitors and they are not shorting, then you should go for the charging IC. I hope I the, the video is helpful, guys. Hope the video is helpful. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, please. And if you are facing any difficulties, don't forget to comment so we can chat about it. Thank you.